Hello, 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 and welcome to another Angry Unit of the Week. And today we are taking a look at the KA50 Akula for the Soviet Union. Now, the KA50 was developed in the late 80s in the Soviet Union, but it did not actually get produced and manufactured till the 90s because, well, the Soviet Union fell and there wasn't really much money going around. The K850 was to replace the Mi-24 as the standard Russian attack helicopter, but round about in the 90s, they only ever produced a dozen of these things. Now, the K850 is a very interesting helicopter. It has a lot of unique design features that other attack helicopters, even to this day, don't have. First off, it's single seat, a one seat attack helicopter, which is a little bit stressful on the pilot because you have to be worried about navigation, aviation, your weapon systems, so on and so forth. Which is a little bit demanding, but since the uh, Soviet Afghan war, they deemed it was only necessary for only one man to gun a gunship. Also, secondly, instead of having a back smaller rotor, it has two coaxial rotors above, which allows a helicopter to do some very fancy maneuvers and it's actually faster than your standard Apache attack helicopter. Today the KF-50 is still in rather small numbers in the Russian Federation. It's mainly used as a special forces support helicopter while the Mi-28 is more of the armor's mainstay attack helicopter. In game the KF-50 Akula is a 150 point Soviet attack helicopter with three weapons available to it. And if we take a look at its first weapon, we have the 2A42 30mm autocannon with a range of ground of 1,600 meters, 1,600 in helicopters, 60% accuracy, 50 while moving, 3 AP, 1 HE, and a rate of fire of 562 rounds a minute. Overall, a rather powerful autocannon for an attack helicopter, mainly due to the accuracy buffs while moving. Secondly, we got the 9K121 Viker anti-tank missile. It's semi-active and it has 12 of these missiles with a range of ground of 2,975 meters, 50% accuracy, 40% while moving, 26 AP, and a zero second reload time so you can shoot these things rather fast. He's a He's a really good anti-tank missile. It's mainly due to the increased accuracy. You can actually outsuit some anti-helicopter AA pieces with these anti-tank missiles. And 26 AP, you're going to be messing up heavy to super heavy tanks. You're going to be one-shotting most tanks, two-shotting pretty much the other heavier ones. The only downside is the accuracy is 50%. Ritz pretty much means you got a coin flip wherever you're gonna hit the target or not. While well, some of the other AT weapons for other attack helicopters have slightly better accuracy, but you do make up for your accuracy in range. And finally, its third weapon is the Eagle V Fire and Forget missile. The range of helicopters are 2,600 meters, 2,100 airplanes, 60% accuracy, and also 60% while moving. 4HE and a reload time of 20 seconds. Overall, very nice AA missiles. They are better than the runs on the Mi-24V. And good range, good firepower, and you got a decent amount of them. So you can easily take out one or two enemy attack helicopters with these missiles. And heck, if you're lucky, you can might be able to shoot down an airplane. And if we just pop down to Smith's Colonia stat, the Kula has run front armor, run on the side, and run on back, meaning it is an armored attack helicopter, the same move the Mi-24, so it can take a few more hits. It has 8 HP, medium size, medium optics, 330 kilometers an hour movement speed, 4 stealth, an autonomy of 450 kilometers, it is type restricted to airborne and motorized, and it is also a prototype unit. In battle, the KA-50 Akula is a rather nice, very multi-role attack helicopter. It, ha it can really deal with any scenario. You got light armor and enemy infantry to deal with, you got an autocannon for you. Enemy tanks, you got very powerful AT missiles for you. 
you got enemy helicopters or want to use this helicopter in a helicopter rush, you got AA missiles for that exact purpose. And it's a very solid attack helicopter, it's a little bit pricey, but it really just brings us down to one big question. Do you get the cooler or do you get the MI-28, the age-old question of all Soviet Union decks? It's pretty much the Kirk vs Picard scenario, but with flying armoured beasts. Now the MI-28, it does have some slight advantages to the cooler, mainly it's 20 points cheaper, and it has 16 AT missiles compared to the cooler's 12, and the AT missiles are slightly more accurate. Also instead of having AA missiles, it does have rockets, which are fairly good at dealing with entrenched infantry compared to a standard auto cannon. But the cooler, honestly, I prefer bringing that thing, mainly due to the fact that it's fantastic with dealing with enemy helicopter rushes, or, you know, doing a helicopter rush of your own. Because if you bring an MH-28 in a helicopter rush, it will be able to kill enemy ground targets that come up, but the enemy brings up M860 DAPs or other AA helicopters, it can't exactly do much. Well, a KA-50 Akula, like his bigger brother, the KA-52, has those AA missiles which give it a little bit more multi-purpose, and that's enough to shoot down an enemy longbow, an enemy M860, an enemy transport helicopter, and it really gives you that extra firepower. Also, the AT missiles, 2,975 meters, even though it's only 175 meters more than other attack helicopters of this price, that extra range does make quite a bit of difference. You can outrange some of the lower end anti-helicopter AA pieces. Overall, the KA-50 is a pricey, but honestly I think it's a rather worthwhile attack helicopter. And really it just comes down to preference. Do you want a standard you know, proper attack helicopter, you get the MI-28. You want something a bit more multi-role and don't mind paying a little bit extra premium, you get the cooler. And yeah, that yeah, is it. This has been another Rangaroos unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as usual, please just take it easy.